Top 10 Most Amazing Little Big Shots We all know that Steve Harvey is a hilarious man, and he brings a lot of adorable kids to his show to add to the fun. Today we count down 10 of the most amazing little big shots. Life's is good. Uh, I just moved out of my mama's house. Y'all made some noise. I just moved out of my mama's house. Let us know your favorite little star in the comments section below. Make sure you give us a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. Let's get it going. 10. Lonnie Chavis this Is Us is one of those TV shows that you can't watch without shedding tears. It has some of those amazing actors, including the adorable Lonnie Chavis. He is a great actor and one of the brightest kids on the planet. However, he still has managed to pick up a few haters along the way. Some people on the internet posted negative comments about the gap between his teeth. Lonnie Chavis has a specific message to all the internet's trolls who tried to put him down. His parents always deleted all the negative comments before he saw them, but one day he saw the comments and he decided to post a video on YouTube. Chavis said that it's not okay and it shouldn't be acceptable to bully anyone. He told the trolls that they had to fix their hearts. For a kid his age, the message was pretty inspirational. Steve Harvey also asked him if he had a girlfriend, and his response was just hilarious. Well, he said he's not allowed to do anything until he's married. The next little big shot on the Steve Harvey show didn't want to wait to be older to become what she wanted. She knew that she wanted to be an entertainer, to act, to sing, to dance, and do other performances. Ladies and gentlemen, allow me to introduce you to the next Patti LaBelle. 9. Sky Turner at the age of 10, Sky Turner blew the internet up with over 10 million YouTube views. She gets invited to sing at weddings and other occasions, including funerals. Sky likes being there for people in times of sorrow and in times of joy. Her favorite artists include Tina Marie, Prince, and Patti LaBelle. She desired to write music which will last for generations to come, like Patti LaBelle. Well, keep it up, Sky. You have a great future ahead of you. She blessed the audience with a beautiful rendition of If Only You Knew by, who other, Patti LaBelle. Steve Harvey had a great surprise for the little star. In the middle of the performance, she was joined on stage by her icon. She was speechless for a moment when she saw Patti walking up to her. Steve Harvey described Sky Turner as one of the most talented little kids to ever appear on the show. It's important for everyone to learn the basics of first aid. I'm not talking about anything complicated, just the usual stuff. For instance, when someone gets an attack, a burn, or chokes on something. You never know when anyone could be in trouble and need immediate help. 8. Andrew Andrew's father is a doctor, and he learned a thing or two from his dad. One day, his classmate was choking on a gummy bear, and he took it upon himself to save the little girl. Michaela said that she was scared because she didn't know what Andrew would do to her, but she was later grateful after he saved her. Steve Harvey suggested that one day they would get married when Michaela would look back at the moment, and her reaction was priceless. Aw, Prince Charming and his princess. Andrew said that he wanted to be a doctor when he grew up, and Michaela said that she wanted to be a nurse. Wow, they'll probably work in the same hospital. Steve Harvey had someone special on the show to congratulate Andrew for his bravery. Both Andrew and Michaela earned a trip to Universal Studios to hang out with Kung Fu Panda. They say not all heroes wear capes. Anyone can be a superhero in small ways. It's the thought that counts. But if you can find a cape that fits, that's perfectly okay. 7. Austin Perrine one day, Austin was watching a show about pandas, and one of the little pandas was left homeless. The moment Austin realized that people could also be homeless and hungry, he decided to be the change. Austin decided to change the world one sandwich at a time, literally. He ran around the neighborhood in a costume giving sandwiches to homeless people on the streets. His dad helped him to get the food, and he went feeding homeless people one day in a week. He told his parents that instead of buying toys with their money, they should get him chicken sandwiches. He also had a special message for homeless people, and he said, don't forget to show love. Austin's superhero name is President Austin, because he believes that it should be a president's responsibility to feed the homeless. When asked why he was doing it, he said it was the right thing to do. Austin also added that it's important to spread love, and everyone deserves to be loved. Steve had a couple of surprises for Austin and his dad. He got them accommodations for their tour to feed the homeless in 10 different states and a $5,000 check from the church's kitchen for the Show Love Foundation. Austin was also excited to meet Stuart and Tim from the Minions. Many parents all over the world now get the importance of nurturing their kids' talents when they're still very young. Gone are the days when formal employment was the only source of income. 6. Sky and Ocean Steve Harvey hosted the incredible skateboard duo from Japan. Sky and Ocean started skateboarding when they were two years old and one year old, respectively. They gave Steve Harvey a few lessons on the basics of skateboarding. They also bought a helmet and a skateboard for Steve, written Blue Cheese. Blue Cheese is a nickname that Steve Harvey got on his website from a guy in Philadelphia. 
If you don't know why he was given the nickname, you'll have to keep watching to find out. Ocean and Sky challenged Steve to skateboard, but he was too scared to do anything crazy because it's not the same when a 59-year-old drops down on the floor. <laughs> I was in the World Championships in 1968. <laughs> You're so funny. However, the two of them got the chance to showcase their remarkable skills. There's absolutely no age limit to success. Anyone can start a business and grow a business. And the next little big shot on Steve Harvey is a living example. 5. Tilario Tilario created a business from a mushroom growing kit. He has a business called Tiger Mushroom Farms. He went to the show with a couple of his products, including dry shiitake and fresh shiitake. Tilario explains that his passion grew when he first planted grass and basil as a Cub Scout. During one of the summers, Tilario had five markets, and he sold out his second grocery stock. He said that he wanted to be as rich as Steve Harvey, and he carried a business plan to prove his seriousness. Tilario even asked Steve to give him three pointers on how to be a billionaire. Steve asked him how much money he needed to start his business, and he said one zillion dollars. How much you think you One zillion dollars. One z- Wow, but it's okay to dream because the dream is free. You may seem okay, but I know you also want to be a zillionaire. Well, Steve advised him to maintain his ambition and also told him that it's okay to be rich as long as the money is used in the right way. Sometimes it seems impossible to meet people we really admire and look up to. The next little big shot was moved to tears even by the thought of her icon. 4. De Santos Ariana Ariana De Santos had already perfected the skill of football by the time she appeared on the show at the age of seven. She said that she also played with boys and they cried after the game because she always won. Her favorite footballer was Neymar, and she said that she sometimes cries when she sees his picture. The little girl broke down on the show when his photo popped up. She loved Neymar so much to the extent that she created a move and named it after him. Ariana couldn't hold back her tears when Steve showed her a message from Neymar. He also sent a jersey to her and signed it. Judging by the look on Steve's face, it was a lot for him to handle. He didn't expect that the little girl would react like that. Steve Harvey had to do an update on the girl and let the whole world know that she was doing okay. Scientists invent and discover a lot of things which make life manageable. It's important to have kids who dream of becoming scientists because that way we are assured of an even easier life in the future. 3. Jojo Jojo's favorite subject in school was science and he wanted to be an astronomer when he grew up. He said he wanted to be an astronomer instead of an astronaut because he was afraid of heights. So, as an astronomer, he could just sit on the Earth and study the space from the Earth. He also did a few experiments on the Steve Harvey show and explained the Lorentz force. When the audience members clapped for him in the middle of his explanation, he stopped them and said he wasn't finished. And his full name was Hendrik. I wasn't finished! Steve told him that he was his favorite kid but he also says the same thing to almost every other kid. Professional dancing is a skill that requires a lot of patience and discipline. It's quite remarkable when kids can display amazing performances. 2. Lev and Sophia Lev and Sophia started dancing together back in 2014 in the United States. They used to dance separately with other people, but coupled up after some time. Since then, they have competed and performed on various platforms, including Little Big Shots. They did a beautiful opening performance to entertain Steve and his audience. During the interview, Lev was speechless when Sophia said she thought he liked her. Steve, on the other hand, burst out laughing at his reaction. Lev said that Sophia was the one who liked him because she acted weird. It was a back and forth between the two of them until Steve cut them short. Well, as long as it doesn't interfere with their dancing and their careers in the future, they can go ahead and like whoever they want. The next little big shot on the show is the little Ariana. One morning she woke up and decided to write a story about her blanket. She was just six years old when she first appeared on the show, and she later came back after some time. I saved the best for last, but first I have a quick challenge that takes only 5 seconds to complete. So if you can leave a like and subscribe within the next 5 seconds, you'll get 10 years of amazing luck. Just try it. It really works. 1. Ariana At 6 years old, Ariana was already in 3rd grade. Between her first appearance and the second appearance on the show, Ariana wrote her third book, launched an online store, and wrote a song for her mom. She sang the beautiful song Butterfly for Steve Harvey and his audience. And I looked in your eyes and felt your sweet love. Ariana also said she wanted to be a scientist when she grew up. She's definitely a girl full of talents. Then she started explaining her EST machine that she would invent, and the explanation that she gave was simply amazing. 
Ariana also asks Steve if he could bring his publishers to the table so that they could talk about publishing her new book, which had Steve's mustache as a character. She said that since the book had Steve in it, it would have a lot of sales. As promised earlier, here is a tweet from Steve Harvey explaining why his nickname is Blue Cheese. Thanks for watching, and have an excellent day.